Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing good. So today in this video, we'll be discussing on the part three of the SAP S4 HANA simplifications in the production planning. And the topics we'll be discussing will be the MRP in subcontracting and also the storage location MRP, how it has been simplified in SAP S4 HANA. So let's get started. So most of you know that the planning uh, in SAP can be differentiated uh, for a specific subcontractor if the materials uh, are to be managed separately uh, based on the MRP area we create to the subcontractor. It means that the stocks, the receipts and the requirements of those materials which are being managed by the subcontractor will uh, sit in a, a different storage location and that specific storage location will be created as a subcontracting MRP area. So while planning the materials uh, in these MRP areas, we can have a different set of uh, planning parameters which can be assigned in the material master for each MRP area. And in SAP e ECC, the MRP areas are basically configured in the system and then assigned in the material master. And also the production version was not made mandatory earl earlier, but in SAP S4 HANA, the <clears throat> subcontracting MRP areas are, are still configured but it is not necessary to be assigned uh, uh, in the material master data. So basically when you create an MRP area in the configuration, so the storage location that is being configured on that particular MRP area will automatically manage the materials into the MRP area planning for the subcontractor. And also it is now made mandatory that the production version should be created. Uh, to manage the materials uh, in the subcontracting scenario. As you know that in the subcontracting scenario, we do have a specific bill of materials wherein which the components will be supplied to the subcontractor that, and then he is going to process that into a finished product or a semi-finished product and deliver back to us. So in SAP S4 HANA, it has been made mandatory that the production version must be created only for that particular bill of material. So. In this production version, uh, we do not need uh, to assign the master recipe or a routing to be part of this production version. So it only consists of a bill of material itself. In, S4, in SAP S4 HANA, so they have provided the mass processing reports such as RMMDD IBE and RMMDD IBE02 uh, in order to execute the maintenance of the MRP areas in mass. So let's see uh, what's the difference from the SAP point of view, I mean to say from the configuration point of view, uh, how it has been simplified in the SAP S4 HANA when compared with the ECC systems. So in this slide, we can see uh, two screenshots here. So the first one, it talks about the SPRO that has been uh, provided in the classic ECC system, where you can see in the configuration node, we do have uh, two options. One is to activate the MRP for MRP areas and the second one is to define the MRP areas. And once you click on the define MRP areas, we can see three categories to choose uh, the MRP area type. So should it be the plant MRP area or should it be a storage location MRP area or it should be a subcontracting MRP area. And based on the settings or the options that we choose here, the MRP area type like 01 for plant, 02 for storage location, and 03 for subcontractor will be automatically assigned or the user needs to uh, choose the right option in order to uh, configure the right MRP area. And in ECC, we had to manually activate the MRP for MRP areas by choosing this option here. But whereas, in SAP S4 HANA, the configuration node has been simplified so that uh, the user can actually decide at the time of configuration itself whether he would like to create the MRP areas for the plant and the storage location or he needs uh, the MRP area for the subcontractor itself. So the previous nodes that we have seen in ECC such as to activate so this option is not provided in, a, in uh, the SAP S4 HANA. Why? Because during the configuration itself, the system is going to automatically activate the MRP for these uh, MRP areas. Either it can be the plant level, the storage location level, 
or the subcontractor level MRP area. So once we go into the configuration details of the, uh, MR, the uh, subcontractor MRP areas like you see in the screenshot, we do have a few options where once the configuration of the MRP area has been done. So there are three icons where you can actually generate or simulate the MRP records for this particular MRP area. So these overviews will provide us the information like the, the list of materials that are actually using the specific storage location that we have uh, configured in the MRP area. So let's uh, discuss the same uh, once we navigate into the SAP screens. So the next topic is the storage location MRP. So Earlier in the SAP ECC system, we had an option that the storage location can be excluded from the MRP or not. It can be done as part of the uh, configuration, right? But in case of SAP S4HANA, this option has been uh, ex uh, removed and now it has been replaced by creating an MRP area for the storage location itself, which has to be removed from the uh, MRP. So. We now have to create a storage location, uh, I mean, we now ha have to create an MRP area for that particular storage location, which should be excluded from the planning. So we create uh, an MRP area with the combination of the storage location. And then once we assign that storage, uh, that particular MRP area to the material master, and there we are going to assign the MRP type as ND, no planning, which means that the materials having that particular MRP area and, <clears throat> and that particular storage location will not be part of the MRP anymore. And SAP S4HANA has also provided a, a report MRP underscore area underscore storage underscore LOC underscore migration. So which kind of uh, helps us to pre-check the storage location that the MRP is actually using based on the MRP area that we have configured. So let's get into more details of this when we uh, log into SAP. So here we are into SAP. Let me uh, navigate to the uh, to the MRP area. So here we are in SAP and let me navigate to the MRP area through SPRO. And once I choose SPRO, IMG and then we have the production node, then MRP material requirement planning and then go to the master data under that we have this MRP areas. So like we discussed in our slides, we can see these three options here in SAP S4HANA and then once I click on the MRP areas for the plan storage location, so I can see all the MRP areas that have been created uh, in the respective plans and also I can see the MRP area type. So since in the configuration node, it, it clearly mentions that the MRP areas for both plant and storage locations are actually provided in one single node. But when I choose the second one where to define the MRP areas for subcontractor. So here I have the option to create the uh, subcontracting MRP area. So click on new entries and I'm going to create an MRP area for the test in the plant 1820. That's it. And just click on save to make sure that uh, the configuration is, it, it, uh, has been created. And once you save this configuration, uh, we have to uh, go back to the material master and then, so once you save these changes, uh, uh, we will go back to the material master and then we are going to assign this MRP areas in the MRP one view of the particular material. So here I am in the metal master in the MRP one, there we see the icon for the MRP areas. So if the MRP areas are not assigned to the metal master, so then we will not see this checkbox activated. So since I've already assigned the MRP area, so this has been checked here, over here that the MRP area exists. So this particular detail can be verified uh, in the MARC table. And let me get into the details of this MRP area. Just double click on that. And here, if you would like to exclude this uh, 
material uh, in from the plant level mrp or you don't want to uh, consider this particular storage location as part of the mrp then we are going to assign the mrp type as no planning so, so this being uh, the subcontracting type mrp area with the mrp type area as a three so we don't see any uh, storage location specific uh, values over here right so for that you have to use the mrp type indicator as two so here uh, the details uh, for this material in this particular mrp area can be entered and these will be different from that of the plant level settings that we see here uh, on the mrp one two three four views uh, in the metal master view right so these will be different i mean when you execute the uh, mrp at the mrp area level so the planning parameters that we see over uh, in these screens will actually be applicable uh, during the mrp run but if you do not enter any values over here and you execute the mrp at the plant level so then the values that we have here on the plant level view in the mrp 1 2 3 4 and so on so these will come in into the uh, calculation procedures And here you can find few options to define the MRP group and also the MRP profile. So these are basically used to default the values that we can activate at the MRP profile so that all the materials that will be using this MRP profile will actually hold the uh, default values that we have enabled in the configuration. So let me show you that here for a second. Uh, let me go back. I don't want to save this change. And now choose the option to define the MRP area profiles here. And now new entries. Uh, create the MRP area profile. And double click on the maintenance settings here. And choose new entries. So here actually you can define the MRP area fields that you would like to default the values. Say for example, uh, all the materials to a specific MRP area should have uh, the MRP controller as 002 or 001, which I would like to default it as 002 here. So just enter it. So once we create this MRP area profile and we assign it here in the material master, so then the values that we uh, maintain in the configuration will automatically be defaulted uh, in this particular screen. So it is not required uh, for the user to always enter uh, the values over here in the screen. And let's say, for example, if you have a specific uh, value, let's let me choose uh, maybe an MRP group, right? So let me choose the MRP group. And I always want to use the MRP group for this material or the MRP area that has been used at the plant level, right? So I don't want to use two different MRP, a, uh, MRP groups at the MRP area level and also at the plant level. So I, I, I always want these values to be uh, common for both the uh, plant and also the MRP area settings. So then I can actually use this field as uh, again, check this field to copy it. So it means that is it is not going to allow you uh, to enter any inputs here. So by activating this checkbox, whatever uh, uh, MRP group you have it on the material master here uh, at the plant level, that will be defaulted on the MRP area here, right? So I'm going to use an MRP area, right? In this MRP area, I'm going to assign the MRP profile and in the MRP profile, I have configured that I'm going to copy the field of the MRP group straight from the uh, material master at the plant level, right? So then it is not needed to enter the value again. But if you say that you have two different values, one at the plant level and the other one at the MRP area level, let's say in this example. So in, at the plant level, you have an, an MRP controller as 001. But when you want to do the planning at the MRP area, you want to choose the value as 002. So then you have to activate or enter the values over here. And this checkbox need not to be activated. So for example, I'm going to activate this here. So then this value should not be taken by the system. Okay, let's see that. Check, 
enter now that has been removed why because it should not have two different values when you are using the copy reference field over here so that's all for today guys thank you for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also click on the bell icon to receive update we'll meet again soon in our next video until then take care stay safe stay healthy bye bye